Hey, what's up guys? So for today's video, I've been really inspired by two things. The UK styling and also this really sick portrait film template that I've been seeing a lot of photographers use recently. So I decided to recreate them both. And if you guys are here for the film template, I'll have it around this time. So yeah, recently I've been really inspired by all of Miramasa's music videos, which are directed by Yanni Lapton. I love the aesthetics, the styling, and the overcast lighting in each of those videos. And even though I freaking suck at editing cloudy photos, I wanted to give it a shot and just try it out. And I've been super lucky that it's been raining recently because now I have that overcast weather to get those cloudy London vibes. Now for the styling, we went with this pretty sick and baggy Adidas jacket and then we paired it with Alyssa's black sweatpants and white shoes. As for the location, I ended up going with this colorful soccer court. But to get to that soccer court, we did have to jump this pretty big fence. The reason why I chose this location was because I felt like it gave us a lot of things to work with and it also complemented the styling. So I started by placing Alyssa in the center in order for me to have the banners and the soccer goal in the background. So for the second look, what I did was slightly change my angle in order for me to get the Adidas banner in the background and get a different look. And as I was finishing up the edits, I noticed that my photos were missing that extra pop, which is why I decided to create my own portrait film template in order to help make my photos pop. Once I had the regular portrait film template there, I then added the red and blue streaks in order to add that extra element to help complement the colors in my photos. And now looking at them side by side, I really do like how the template complements the colors in the photo. This background and photo had to be one of my favorites because the lighting was at its best and I really liked the dynamic range with the park in the background because it added so much more depth of feel to the photo. What I really liked about this fence was the leading lines which is why I had Alyssa sit in the middle where the fence met. I thought this was such a sick composition because of the way the fence led to Alyssa which helped add more attention to her. But for this photo I do wish I would have centered her a little bit better. And here's a few more edits we got with the fence background and I also made a black and white edit because I felt like the contrast really worked well with it. And I'm gonna have these three templates available for you guys to download down below in the description box. So once you guys have downloaded and opened the template and have the photo you guys want to be using open, go to the photo you're gonna be using and make sure you guys are on the move tool and then click and drag this photo onto the template. Once it's on the film template, you guys can go ahead and drag this photo layer underneath the film layer so it doesn't hide it. Then you can go ahead and center the photo and you're all finished. Before I end today's video, I just want to give a shout out to Kenny for using the old film template and then making this sick photo. I hope you guys enjoyed the template and thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.